So are you planning on getting your vaccine? No. No? No. I don't trust it. I've never gotten the flu shot either, though, and you and I have talked about that. And several of the doctors on my team talked to me about, Wendy, we'll get the flu shot. I've never had the flu. I'm not getting a flu shot. I very rarely get a cold. I never have headaches. I don't take an aspirin because I feel my heart murmur or something like that. I'm not getting. No, I don't trust it. There, I said it. Yeah. So let me go back to vaccines for a second, because what you say and believe is so important to a lot of people. I mean, millions and millions of Americans are going to say Wendy Williams didn't get a vaccine, so I don't want to get a vaccine. So let me just ask you if there's anything that could happen that would make you feel comfortable. 10 million people get vaccinated without a problem. Your neighbor gets vaccinated. A sibling, your son gets vaccinated. Someone that's dear to you gets vaccinated and does well. That might make you think, you know, just to get past the hassle of having to lie on my back, recovering from COVID-19 or maybe not recovering, uh, is not worth the risk that I might actually consider this vaccine. I'm not getting the vaccine. There's- Listen, 10 million people and more have the flu vaccine. And how many people per year catch the flu? You know, uh, I uh, no, I'm not getting the vaccine, Dr. Oz. I'm not. I don't trust it. And is there something in particular you don't trust about it? The fact that it was made quickly, the fact that we don't have enough follow up. What, what, what specifically is bothering you about it? Doctors are really smart people, but doctors don't know everything. And that's been proven as well. I'm not getting the vaccine. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't get the vaccine, everybody watching. I'm just saying I'm not getting the vaccine.